Welcome to our slavery challenge presented by Metropolitan. Yes, this is the seventh edition of the Metropolitan Slavery Challenge. So it's 7 o'clock, 21k. Hashtag I run this because I love this city. I run this because I'm crazy enough to get out of bed at 5 o'clock on Mother's Day. Hashtag I run this because it's my last race for comrades and it's quite a nice preparation. I run this because I enjoy the route and those two sisters on the top there are magic. I run this because I enjoy it and I can get to run Mother's Day with my husband. I run this because South Africa. I run this because it's our first time. I run this because I'm mad. <laughs> I run this sucky! 21k runners line up. Have a great run guys. Remember, remember why you're doing this, because you run this. Morning, morning, morning! Well done guys, well done! Well done! Uh, well, we've been involved for the past few years on, uh, with this event and uh, you know it's really one of the uh, calendar events uh, for us. Uh, we really look forward to this event. I mean, such an awesome uh, race and vibe and everything. So, you know, it's really an honor and a privilege for us to be involved with the race. Uh, our involvement, uh, basically we provide a vehicle for marketing purposes as well as vehicles uh, on the day of the race as well for logistical support and that. I ran this because this is this because what I love running and I love the slave routes. That's the way to go, Jim. Thank you. Kokala Peninsula Beverages got involved with the Slavery Challenge as it's right in the heart of the Cape Town community, bordering District 6 and the Boer Carp, which are the hub of the CBD. We serve our community and obviously the community serves us from the point of view of buying up our finished products. We are the hydration partner of the event and we serve all the water stations and do a very nice endpoint for all the runners right at the end.
as Metropolitan, we pride ourselves in being involved with the communities. We like telling and, and amplifying the community stories. And Slave Root Challenge is one of those uh, community stories that has got a, a lovely history and heritage behind it in terms of uh, the people that actually built the city and made this city such a beautiful place. So what, we, uh, what this race does, it takes you through the entire, the, the, the number of landmarks that were built which are beautiful and people get, get to experience and explore Cape Town in that beautiful manner. 21 left. Um, our involvement with the Slave Route spans back three years, you know, as you know. Um, you know, initially it was quite a, we had quite ambivalent feelings about getting involved. Um, however, I think once uh, the notion as to what exactly the Slave Route or run was all about, it made quite an easy choice in terms of getting involved. I think it's quite an iconic race. Um, the history behind it, especially in the setting of South Africa, made it, uh, especially for us, you know, a venture that we wanted to get involved in. Um, it's also seen very much so as a community race um, and as such Rondebosch, you know, by virtue of where its location is, um, was quite keen to get involved with something from a community standpoint and we felt this would have been the perfect opportunity for us to actually lend a helping hand as well. Die stad Kaapstad ook een erfenisrijke stad. En ik denk juist daarom is het belangrijk dat ons die erfenis wat in die stad Kaapstad is, baie meer uitbring dier hierdie uitdaging, hierdie stap in de hardlooproute. En ook wat die ander betrokkenheid is van stad Kaapstad is een, is een toerisme stad. En ik denk baie van die mensen wat kom besoek, kom nie noodwendig vir die, vir die erfenisroute nie. So hierdie is een bekendstelling en ek is, dit is goed dat die stad Kaapstad daarbij betrokken is om die relings te tref en dit te bemaak ook vir die slawe route. And the money we will be using in two of our projects, we run a special needs school for children with a fetal alcohol spectrum disorder and that is permanent brain damage caused by alcohol during pregnancy. And secondly, we will also be using it in our foster home scheme. I'm so happy to ride on this race. Enjoy the atmosphere. I run for fun. For the madness, for the crazy times. And staying healthy. And today is my 100th of marathon. 